Hey YouTube, this is your boy Guns hitting you off with another video. This video is basically going to be about shaders mod for Minecraft uh, PC version 1.7.10. And if you notice right away in the background, the sun just rose up. Came out of nowhere, so I think it has something to do with shaders, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you notice that the sunrise looks very, very unique. The reflection of the water, um, the detail of the water. I mean, it looks way, way more realistic than the original one. I'm going to go back and show you the difference between this shaders mod and uh, Minecraft without shaders. And I'm going to take the texture pack as well off. So I'm going to option shaders. I'm going to put none. Uh, resource packs. We'll take the resource packs off. Now, mind you that you do need a powerful computer to have this like this. Just to give it a minute to load. And it does take a lot of memory. And this, that's Isaac 510, Isaac 5105. Um, you notice that the details uh, looks really, really, really fake. Well, this is the regular Minecraft without none of the texture packs or shaders. So, go back to options, uh, resource specs, let's put back on. LB photorealism 256 by 256. If you wonder why it's dark in the background, I mean, I kind of like it like that. Just the face showing. Oh. Still taking a minute to load. There we go. And we'll go done. Back. And you see now we have a more realistic world of textures <laughs> so options shaders go back to standard done done back to game and we have uh, now a more realistic world so if you notice that the reflection like I said in the water looks more detailed so we're gonna continue moving on uh, we got accurate shadows so if I place a door down, let's see, and you look through the door, you can actually see the hole through the door. So if I take a couple of blocks, uh, we'll use sand since we're closer to the sand. Uh, see how accurate it is. Again, that's really good details. Um, let's see, we got accurate shadows, so when the sun moves over this way, the shadows move. I like this shader mod, it's really decent, it's nice, um, really remarkable, as well as the texture pack, they put a lot of work into this, and, um, I think the texture pack, I mean, shaders mod is called Sonics Ethers, or something like that, Ether Sonic, something like that, unbelievable shaders, um, the water just, it's amazing. I mean, look at this. Really detailed. And to me, this looks like a DirectX 11 um, view compared to uh, the standards. Uh, Minecraft look. And this gives it more, that, more of a DirectX look. Now, in case you don't know what DirectX is, go to Microsoft.com and do a search for DirectX and it shows you. Really, really nice and detailed. Look at the sky. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Look at it. And it actually forms between small clouds and bigger clouds. So it gives that more realistic look. So really, really nice and detailed. Now, the reason why I'm also making this video because a friend of mine asked me to record a video about it so he could see it. So I am showing him the new look of Minecraft. Um, the texture pack gives it a more detail also of blocks. Um, this is glowstone, so it looks way different. Trees actually move, so it's really, really nice. Um, I'm going to warp to warp spawn. And I'm going to go off from here. Now, the difference from without shaders and width is when you pull out a torch, you notice that I get closer and I can flip it, it changed. So if I'm in a dark spot, it would actually light up that spot kind of like realistically. So I'll come down here so you can see now look right here, off, on, 
off on so no other person can see this so if I'm holding a torch and lights up spot they won't be able to see it because they don't have this texture this uh, shaders mod so if they don't have the shaders mod they won't be able to see it unless they're holding a torch with shaders mod so it's kind of crazy but I think it shouldn't be like that but that's just the way it is um, fire details more accurate like crazy looking um we're gonna go somewhere else I'm gonna show you something I try to make this as quick as I could, but uh, you notice, like I said, things actually move and shake according to wind. And we'll just keep on going here. Um, this is the future amusement amusement park that I'm making. Um, taking some time, but it's not bad so far. I got some of the roller coasters right, and that's where we're heading to. One of the roller coasters. <clears throat> we're gonna go to the one over here. Uh, the lava pit of doom and the detail with the shaders pack and this texture pack really brings out the lava I mean it looks so detailed and it's really really nice so get on a car I'm going to take this from the pistol I'm getting a little lag spike here I just froze Just got a nice little freeze for some reason, but if you notice the lava is more detailed, more brighter. I just don't know why it just froze. It's weird. So when we come up here, we get closer to the lava, you can actually see it's how bright it is and really, really crazy looking like real lava. Hmm. It's not bad. Um, like I said, shadows. The bricks look more detailed. That's due to uh, <laughs> Isaac's follow me. <laughs> due to the uh, texture pack. So LB Photorealism 256 gives you more clear detail. I mean, you can find like uh, 512s. If well, I think they stopped making 512 by 512 because of how much memory it takes. But I'm gonna take this right here hop on it. I'm going to show you this ride that I'm working on. And if you notice it, the explosions with the fire gives it that little look. Um, I got this idea off of uh, Wizard of Oz. It's not the new Wizard of Oz, it's kind of like, it kind of, then again it's not. It's from the original one when they first go see the wizard. So, I think it's from the 1960s or something like that. But, he keeps on TPing to me. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys like this video. Um, give me a, you know, thumbs up, hit me up with uh, comments. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted you to see, I just added it in my server. Real photos. Now in order to get this, we're using a plugin called Pixelate, Pixel something, Pixelate or something like that. Pixel, Pixel.